Welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider with me, Jerupidus, and we have just gotten down from the unbelievably tall radio tower uh, where we successfully dispatched a distress signal, and it sounds like they're going to come and get us, so let's get down. Fuel tanks. That's right, we've got to make a visual signal so that our rescuers can find us. Just want to make sure I'm uh, full up on ammo and whatnot. This should do the trick. And the Fire Striker is awesome because now we can light our torch whenever we want, which is a huge quality of life improvement. Looks like some of the uh, people around here didn't make it. Probably just more people that those uh, guys chasing us killed. And now that we've got our torch in tow... We can go ahead and uh, light this gas puddle and make ourselves a nice big signal that they should be able to see from, I would guess, outer space. I love that scene so much. It reminds me of when the dropship and alien is coming. And the alien ends up being on board and it kills it and your hopes are just dashed. <laughs> Good, we better move it. <coughs> and after all that, it was all for nothing. The pilot, I have to get to him. Yeah, we probably should get to him because I don't think the uh, inhabitants here are going to take kindly to his presence. And we gotta move it because this whole place is gonna collapse. I just love it. These environments are so dynamic. Oh, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. Not a good time. But it's another heavy, so we know what to do. Just dodge and shoot.
and we could not save that poor, poor pilot who came to rescue us. It's possible we should have mentioned that there were hostile forces <laughs> to him. That may have been some kind of need-to-know information. Poor guy. Oh, you know what? There's some salvage right there I almost missed. And since we can have our torch whenever we want, this stuff is going to be a lot more accessible now. We won't have to backtrack anymore to get it, which is really nice. Now, I gotta feel like that's the way forward, so I kind of want to check out a little bit higher up in this building first. What we were doing before I was uh, distracted by that salvage pouch thing. Oh, yeah, look at this. Forty salvage, totally worth it. Is there anything else I can do up here? It does not look that way, so let's keep going. Alright, another camp. I think now might be a good time to see if we can get any upgrades. I can't get it out of my head. A storm that came out of nowhere, out of a clear sky, and brought down a plane. It's not rational. You know it's not rational, Lara. There must be some explanation. I I just don't know what it is yet. Um, there is an explanation, but I will say this. Uh, this has a very Indiana Jones feel to it, where there's a lot of realistic sort of archaeology stuff going on, but there is going to definitely be a spiritual element as well, or perhaps supernatural, I should say. So what can I get? Yeah, I mean, you know, the machine gun's been feeling pretty good. We can finish it up. That works for me. So now we have a fully upgraded machine gun. Still looks pretty janky, but I like it. And that's probably all we've got for now. Lara! What the hell happened? The storm! It came out of nowhere. These clouds, they just surrounded the plane. Lara, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. <sighs> On my way. That's a kind of hilarious time to get a brand new skill point. <laughs> but with our hopes for rescue currently dashed, we gotta get back to our comrades. And this is not good. We are upside down. Oh, and the rope is such an exciting new piece of gear. So we can use that to interact with those, uh... Oh boy, that guy's got a machine gun, huh? And a Molotov? We gotta move. Oh, we are so pinned down. Oh, they're just, like, reloading separate from each other? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. This is what I meant about the AI being pretty smart. Oh, I popped out at the wrong time. I think he wants to come over here. Not quite. Can 
can be a little tough to aim quickly with the sticks, but we got through it just fine. There's got to be a way up. It is always uh, kind of amazing when you go back through the battlefield to loot all the dudes and you're like, wow, I just killed like 20 people. <laughs> So, our uh, rope can be used to do things like this. Which I was probably supposed to use a little bit more in this section. I got a little bit frazzled by the uh, machine gun fire. And what's more, we can use it to do things like this. and pull these towards us. So we just got... It's only one new item, but a ton of new traversal options, and it's really exciting. Now let's see. Looks like I can do something with this, so let's try it out, although I think it may have been just to defeat the enemies in the area. Not quite. Looks like I can get up there. Let's try it out. Where have I ended up? I see, here we go. Go ahead and grab that food cache. And let's try that again. I'm convinced I can get in there. Here we go, this is where I wanted to be. And what do I get for my trouble? Just a little salvage? But it is just a little bit of a uh, tutorial that tells you there's a lot going on with the rope. More than it would seem at face value. But with that out of the way, I think we can get out of here. spot to hook into. And now we learn we get to make rope bridges. And so this is yet another new traversal option. But first I kind of want to check out up here. It doesn't look like maybe it's not anything, but okay. <laughs> and let's give this new mechanic a try. really sweet, and I'm assuming that you recall, we've seen stuff like this, like, through the entire game so far. And so it just sort of sets your mind on fire, like, oh man, you know what? I saw that, like, way earlier in the game. There must be something I can do with that once I head back there at some point. I kind of feel like I should be able to get up there. What happens if I do this? Interesting. It's gotta be something, right? Ah, that'll do it. Let's try that out. Just a food cache for my trouble, but it does kind of teach you that just because there's one that you see immediately in front of you doesn't necessarily mean that's the only one you can do. So cool. Just such fantastic level design. I love it so much. All right, and now the final thing 
is we can use it to open doors as well. Like, think about all the things that just got opened up for us. It's crazy. I'm really glad you moved. <laughs> you and me both, girl. One moment they were fine, the next. There was this storm. It came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Laura. I called them here, Ross. Hey, we'll find another way. Mayday, mayday. Co-pilot, just up a bear. Another Number pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, badly hurt when I landed. I need to aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please respond. Damn it, he can't hear me. I have to get to him. No. His signal's just over there. We've got our own people to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Roth. And maybe Roth is right, maybe we shouldn't go there, but we just can't resist. So let's try to get to that pilot. Now using this, I can make a rope bridge down. This hut looks clear. We ain't gonna find anyone up here. You're probably right, but we got orders. I'm gonna head down and join the others at the plane. You keep checking these ruins. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Waste of fucking time. And I do love how out of the, their way they go to make the enemies in areas seem like people who are really doing stuff. They kind of have personalities. It's all really well done. All right, he's gonna patrol that way. So I feel like I can take out this guy in front of me. And let's drop this guy, too. I don't think there's anyone else around, but I'm usually wrong about that. Ooh, another bow part. Love that. Now we get a whole new mod for our bow. I can't wait. There we go. Just wanted his salvage. Ooh, and there's a relic. Let's grab that. A kind of mortar and pestle. Probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. And I love the way we go from just brutal murder to, like, being fascinated by artifacts. <laughs> it's kind of the best. So let's turn it around. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones. Yeah, I mean, if, uh... If that belongs to any of these guys, it might not be animal bones. Ooh, and another rifle part. Oh, man, this is getting sweet. The new stuff is coming fast now. And I love it. If I had to guess, I'd say that's all that I want in there. So let's keep going. And I definitely want to light this statue. I'm here, Reyes. What's your situation? We followed a group of men to some kind of... 
city. This place is insane, Rock. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. Any sign of Sam or Whitman? Nothing yet. Are you with Lara? Yes. We'll be uh, heading down the mountain soon to meet up with you. Okay. We'll try to get in a bit closer. Keep this channel open. Yep, and he's kind of making his excuses for us because we could be down there, like, now <laughs> if we weren't going out of our way to rescue this pilot, but it's the right thing to do. But before I head any further, I definitely want to explore this area. And we can light up this statue. I was gonna say, I think we can light these two, but it doesn't really do anything. It's just fun. Oh, but there are these. And then what I can do is uh, take my bow, get the pulley thing, and that'll release that salvage. All the way down there. Another rifle part. I love that. And that's what I mean, you know, that this is almost a Zelda game where all of your new tools, they suddenly allow you to do all kinds of new stuff. It's all just really exciting and really fun. I was going to say, this just looks like a place where a GPS cache would be. <laughs> yep, I'll take out a birdie for some free XP. Why not? And now I'm not so sure I want to go down that way yet. Yeah, this is the way I want to be going. There's the signal. And then, of course, here we want to use our climbing hook. Come on, we gotta get back. Shut up and let me finish. Let's take that guy out sneakily. And maybe he won't notice me? That works for me. Not quite clear where he was going, but let's uh, light up this statue. Why not? And that's half of them. I don't know if I'm going to try to do all of those, but we'll see. If we get close enough, I'll probably track them down. I remember this area from before. Now, I wonder if I want to head that way. No, that wouldn't make sense. It's got to be this way. Ooh, and that looks like an optional tomb, maybe? Yeah, I mean, let's head inside. Feels like you absolutely couldn't miss this one. But I'm always down for these. They're so cool and fun.
All right, what will we find in here? These look like, uh, Himiko statues, I think. So the wind has blown our torch out, which is worth noting. Ah, the Hall of Ascension. Let's check this out. Okay, I think I remember this one. But we do have those uh, weapon parts. So now we have a recurve bow. And let's see what we can do with that. Oh, a key ring. So we can increase the firing rate, but we can't afford it right now. We're literally like six salvage short. That's such a shame, but we do have a skill point and I feel like we may as well use it. Yeah, these are as far as they're gonna go. So we gotta put some more into Survivor. Uh, salvage for animal corpses does actually sound pretty sweet, so let's do that. And now we have another skill tier. So, Lara can now use her climbing axe in combat. Press Y near enemies to strike with the axe. Land additional hits to stun enemies. And believe me, this is real, real sweet. Although it is insanely brutal. <laughs> now let's get to the Hall of Ascension. And it's just this gigantic, sweet Japanese building. Oh, man. Now, let's take a look around here. I kind of vaguely remember this one. I remember it being a little bit tough. So, as I recall, I need to raise this up first. But it's on a time limit. And then I want to go over here. Ah, okay. Other way around. The other one's also going to be on a time limit. So now I want to raise this up. Okay. I got it now. So we'll start with this one. we go. It kind of makes you feel like you gotta be really fast, but you can actually kind of take your time with it. And it's certainly possible to be too fast. But here we are. We solved the puzzle. Beautiful. Was this part of a larger complex of ruins? And I'm just going to explore around a little bit because these are just so cool to look at. And you really do feel like you're exploring tombs. It's just amazing. Oh man, look at this place. That's going to give us 1250 XP and a whole nother skill point. And a handgun part. Seems weird that there might be a handgun part in there, but I believe they're progression based.
Now I think we're ready to uh, continue on. Let's get out of here. But I do love a good environmental puzzle. It just feels good. But since we did just get a skill point, why don't we check that out quick? So let's see, I can carry the maximum amount of ammo. I feel okay on ammo for now. Uh, the accomplished killer, you can do your uh, sort of button prompt kills to get greater XP from killing them. Well, let's see what's available in Brawler. Uh, use your climbing axe to deliver a deadly stunning blow to your enemies. I do like that one. Oh, and the dodge counter is real sweet as well. After dodging an enemy, stab them in the knee with an arrow to cripple them and leave them vulnerable to a killing blow. Ooh, that does seem really cool. But I think we'll grab the climbing axe one right now. And you can do sweet finishers and stuff. And we have 494 salvage, so let's see if we can't uh, do anything cool. Yeah, let's get that key ring trigger for our bow. And then we'll put whatever we've got left over into the pistol if we possibly can. Yep, extended mag, let's do it. And that leaves us with 44 salvage, so we're all done there. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a shortcut out unless I missed it, which is certainly possible. But it seems like maybe not. And now that we're done, uh, you know, raiding tombs, maybe we should see if that pilot is okay. Looks like we can get down this way, and there's going to be a few things to explore on the way there, so let's get to it. GPS cache? Why not? Looks like I can just jump for it, honestly. It was actually kind of close. <laughs> I feel like we're making some amount of progress on the statues, but there's another one up above. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. So where can I go from here? Ah, this looks promising. Now, I did see those eggs to steal right over here. That's 205, so that's not very much progress on those at all. But the sense of scale in these places and the verticality is all just amazing. But there is a document here, so let's give it a listen. It is time for me to leave this accursed island. I have seen enough of Yamatai. I cannot explain the power the Sun Queen wields, but it is not of this earthly plane. As I suspected, she knew my intent the moment I set foot on this island. She has manipulated me, toyed with me to see what information I would seek. But she always knew, if I am allowed to leave this place alive, 
I must warn my lord, warn him that we should avoid Yamatai at all costs. If we wish access to her seas, we should pay any tribute she requires, but we should never cross the Sun Queen. To do so would lead to our ruin. Of the other things I have seen, those dark horrors, I can never speak of again. Yeah, there is definitely a dark side to all of this, isn't there? All right, this area is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep hunting around here. Because this appears to be the way that. forward. But I'm not ready to go that way just yet. So where can I get to from here? Maybe all the way over there? Doesn't look that way. All right, and that puts me back here. All right, it doesn't look to me like I can make this jump, so let's try and find a different option, I guess. We've already been here. Is there any other direction I can go from here? I don't think so. And I don't think I can get on top of that roof, but there is definitely a way to get up higher. I've just got to figure it out. Okay, after putzing around for a few minutes, I can't really find anything more to do, so let's get, get to get this guy. There. Oh boy, Lara, we better move it. Don't you worry, we got our climbing axe. We're gonna be just fine. Captain Jessup! Why did he go? And we are going to find out where he went, but that's gonna have to wait until next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.